delicious. So we need to eat some ribs. Hey guys, we are making ribs today. All right, so I'm gonna clean these ribs up a little. I usually take a spoon and I get the fat loose. I scrape it and get it loose. And then I peel it, peel this membrane off the back. And usually if you don't get in a big hurry, you can peel it all off. You can use your left or your right hand, <laughs> whichever one you want. Okay, a lot of people with their ribs, they'll trim off all this extra stuff on the end. Of course, uh, a lot of people are in competitions and stuff. I'm not. I'm just a guy cooking some ribs. All right, we have a rib rub that we like to use. It has kosher salt. Uh, ground pepper, we use the big pepper, the, what do you call it, Tammy, the? Coarse ground. Coarse ground pepper. Uh, brown sugar, sugar, paprika, cayenne, and onion powder. So, we'll put the recipe for that on here. But that's our rib rub we like to use. Y'all wonder what the noise is. We're over here cooking more pork and cabbage. <laughs> so and I don't put a whole ton of this on here. Cause it's a little spicy and Tammy don't like stuff really. Yeah, I don't. Spicy, so I just make sure that I get it all covered good. Cause he loves his woman of 20 yeah, years. We don't wanna, Yesterday yeah. was our anniversary, y'all. Mm -hmm. We don't want to light her up. So. All right, I got my ribs. Uh, these are baby backs, got them all rubbed the way I like. We're gonna let them uh, warm up, you know, about to room temperature and I'm gonna get the uh, grill started. And what the video really is about is about the grill. I wanna show you guys the grill. I've had it about a year. I really like it. Uh, it's been working great. So we'll look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna open it up. Uh, I have some tongs. I guess I can use those. I'm gonna put one rack down here, two racks up there. I wanna to try to put one down here that's easy to get in there. So I'm going to put this smaller one down here on the bottom, right there. Okay, and I'm going to put these two bigger ones. Actually, that's going to be touching the sides. So what I may do is do go with the three racks. I've never done the three racks. Ah, oh, I can get it down there. It'll be all right. Put this one. In. Okay, so I got them in here. I'm gonna get it shut. Get 250, which really is not gonna be 250. It's gonna fluctuate, but. I'm sitting it at 250, so the hot part down here and then the cooler part up here, there's really not much difference between where those ribs are. Um, so that's the thing I like about this grill is at this point, I can leave it alone. All I have to do the rest of the time is check on the pellets, you know, and that'll be enough pellets. And sometimes when the pellets run through the auger, you'll start getting a hole there and you have to kind of fill it in. So I just have to check on that every few, you know, after about a couple of hours. Um, but I don't have to do anything else. Okay, it's 4.30. I think we started about 12.30, 12.45, somewhere in there. Okay, so I'm going to swap out the ones on the bottom. they got about an hour left to cook, by my estimation. And these swap out with, let's swap them out with these. Uh -oh. That was a bad move. Stacking 
that on there. I think I may leave this one up here. No, I'll move it down there. Because I can. There we go. Between them. They look good to me. Yep. Okay, it's about 6 o'clock. So our ribs have been in the air right at six hours, I think. Three. Nice. Maybe back clip racks. We'll let those rest a little bit. The one that we had on the bottom, you can see it's kind of burnt where that other grease was falling on it. I'm sure it'll probably be done more than the other two. Let's go eat. All right, we've made some potato salad, some deviled eggs with smoked paprika. I had to boil the eggs for the potato salad, so why not just devil some too? And we had barbecue beans last night, so I'm not warming those up. We're just going to have ribs, potatoes, and eggs. Yummy. We have been very happy with this smoker. It has worked really well. You don't have to mess with it. Uh, it stays pretty much on temp like it's supposed to, and um, it, it, this does a really good job. Pit Boss um, Whiskey Barrel Smoker. So, um, good job, Walmart. Yeah, she got, like I said, she got it. It was a floor display. Yeah, they had just put a sign on it, 50% off, when I was walking through the Walmart, and I got it. Yep. That quick. Yep. So, we lucked out. Um, but we have really liked it. It does a really good job. It doesn't get stuff too smoky. Uh, and it cooks on temp like it ought to. It's some good eating. Mm -hmm. Now, what pellet flavor did you do? Isn't uh, it the apple wood that I like the best? The one that I always use is Competition. Because Competition Blend has, you know, some... It's not like the hickory flavor. Uh, I think it does have apple. And I have to go look see what So it it's is. a blend of stuff. It's, a comp it's their Competition oh, Blend. Pit Boss. Good. Competition Blend. We have just enough barbecue sauce left. Chris made barbecue sauce yesterday, so he's got some of his barbecue sauce left too. Have a good supper, y'all. All right, here's one of the ribs. He's gonna lay me up another one. Look how juicy those are. Yes, juicy hot ribs. Tammy's gonna taste them. Up. If I have to, why do I have to taste it? Why can't you taste it? You're the professional taster. Yes, I am. I got some pretty good taste buds. You ready? Mm hmm. I like mine without sauce, without barbecue. I like just enough of this rib rub on there that he puts on there to not get them so spi too spicy for me. And this is how I like my ribs. Mm hmm. Perfect. Delicious. So we need to eat some ribs. Thanks for watching Nichols Retirement Empire and Collar Valley Cooks. Where any... we cook like Chris did. <laughs> Where Chris cooks like Chris cooks. And Pit Boss. And oh my Lord, I love you, Pit Boss. Yeah. If you have any questions about that smoker, go ahead and ask them on the comments. Because, like I said, they did not have, and to my knowledge, still do not have an owner's manual for the Whiskey Barrel Smoker. Bye. Bye.